Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about 5 bugs that Riot still didn't fix. Most of them being in the game for a long, long time. So this is basically gonna be a bug review. This video is made possible by Facecheck. Facecheck is a free desktop app that probably has as many features as leak client has bugs. Needless to say, that's a lot. It shows you people ranks, matchups, builds, gameplay tips. You can set summoners, runes or items with just one click. It will show you that low elo people only focus on Zed and Yasuo. It compares your stats live during the game and much much more. It even supports TFT. Check out the link in the description to get it. And thanks to Facecheck for sponsoring some good leak content. So let's try to speed run some of the epic bugs right now. Bug number one. I've earned bush bug. With this bug you are able to hide in an invisible bush. I did a video on that in April 2017, right as Ivern was released to the public servers. The way this works is that you place the bush on the other side of the wall and you hug the wall. And this way you get inside its invisible part. You may be thinking, but this is a feature. Well, the best part is Riot actually fixed this thing in patch 10.14 in July. It says, Brushmaker, Ivern W. Bug fix. Brushes spawned behind thin walls are no longer partially invisible from the enemy's point of view. And here is a big reddit post from 18th December 2020 showing this happening. So yeah, Riot fixed it, but uh, it's not fixed. However, as Kenan says, it seems that it is at least harder to do than it was at the release. So at least there is that positive. Bug number 2. Scion Orgel bug. This one has been in the game for a quite a while too, probably since the rework of Orgad. Here is my video about it from the very beginning of this year. As you can see, when Orgod's ease the dying Scion passive at the right time, Scion will basically be hooked by Orgod and pulled towards his location. Here is a clip from one month ago of this bug happening again, coming from Reddit. It seems pretty unlikely to be fixed right now. Bug number 3. This is more of a recent bug, but it's a pretty important one. Bug with the aura items on death, most notably on the frozen heart. When you die and you buy frozen heart, your body will decrease the attack speed of nearby enemies. Later on, you can just undo the purchase, so it doesn't cost anything and you can help your teammates this way. This is a video from 17th November, so one and a half month ago from Chinese platform Bilibili. This is basically the first time we've seen this and the bug still isn't fixed. Bug number 4. Legendary Shaco double kill bug. Shaco double kill bug used to only happen versus Nunu. However, since the bug free champion named Mordekaiser got reworked, his ultimate basically does the same. Proper ult timing on Nunu ult or on the Mordekaiser ult and voila you get a double kill and double go. Feels good man. This bug has been in the game for years. I got like tens if not hundred plus emails about this from you guys. Thank you so much by the way. And you guys keep sending more and more to me. But unfortunately Riot still didn't or maybe couldn't fix it. Maybe one day the technology will be there. Bug number 5. We're going for an adventure to Nexus Blitz. Unfortunately bugs for featured game modes have the lowest priority and despite some of them being very very big, Riot often just completely ignores them. Proper combination of Scion passive and the event ending basically gives the Scion almost 1000 seconds death timer. So whenever that happens to you, you basically won't be able to play this game anymore. And the bad part is, in the previous iterations of Nexus Blitz, we also had this Scion bug and we also had him with this crazy death timer. So it's really sad that some of those bugs never get fixed. And whenever we see some of those bugs happening again, we are just like, oh shit, here we go again. And unfortunately, there are way more bugs like this that have never been fixed. And if you guys like this series of like bug review, then let me know in comments. Maybe we'll do more. It doesn't have to be a video about bugs that never got fixed. We can also make a video about bugs that got fixed, but you don't really know about them. I think that would be pretty cool too. So please let me know in comments what do you guys think about it. Thanks again to Facecheck for making this video possible, go check them out, take care guys, and have a good day.